Dijkstra using the import heap Q method. Import heap Q. This line imports the heap Q module, which provides a priority Q data structure. Define Dijkstra graph comma start. This function implements Dijkstra's algorithm to find the shortest path from the node start to all other nodes in the graph. Distances equal dictionary node colon float infinity for node and graph. This line initializes a dictionary of distances using a dictionary comprehension, using a dictionary comprehension where the key is the node and the value is the distance from the start node. All distances are initialized to infinity as seen here. Distances start equals zero. This line sets the distance from the start node to zero to underscore visit equals empty list. This is defining a list that will store all the nodes that need to be visited. Heap dot heap push comma to underscore visit comma. Here we have a tuple with zero comma space start. So we have that the initial distance is zero and that we're using the start node as seen up here, which, will, which we will use as A in the example below. This line initializes a priority cube node that not have yet been visited. This priority queue is sorted by the distance from the source node. The node A, which we'll use later, is pushed into the priority queue. While to underscore visit. This loop iterates until all of the nodes have been visited. Current underscore cost, comma, current underscore node equals heap queue dot heap pop to underscore visit. So the heap pop method uh, removes this, uh, removes uh, the node from the top and it is into two parts and it gives us the current underscore cost and the current underscore node like in the tuple format as seen up here so the zero the comma and the start so the start would be current underscore node the zero would be current underscore uh, cost this line pops the node with the minimum distance from the priority queue if distance is current underscore node or less than current underscore cost, this line checks if the distance from the current node has already been updated. If it has, then the loop continues to the next iteration, as seen here. For neighbor, comma, wait in graph current underscore node dot items. So the dot items method gives us the keys and the values of the dictionary. This line iterates over the neighbors of the current node. New underscore cost equals current underscore cost plus weight. This line calculates the new cost to reach the neighbor cost, neighbor node, excuse me. If new underscore cost is less than distance distances neighbor, this line checks if the new cost is less than the previously calculated cost to reach the neighbor node. If it is, then the distance to the neighbor node is updated. Distances neighbor equals new underscore cost, heap q dot heap push to underscore visit comma and then we have the tuple here with new underscore cost comma neighbor then neighbor node is pushed into the priority queue with the new cost return distances this line returns the dictionary of distances so here we have our graph graph equals and we have it defined using a dictionary and here we have distances equals dijkstra graph so this graph here and we want to find all the distances from the vertex a here we print the distances, so this line calls the Dijkstra function and prints out the distances. So I run the code as seen up here, run Python file. As you can see, we have our dictionary and here we have the nodes and the distances. So to get from A to A, it is zero. To get from A to B, so the shortest distance from A to B is one. The shortest distance from A to C is three. So what we're going to do is we're going to say A to B is 1, B to C is 2, so 2 plus 1 gives us the tree here, and then A to D, so A to B is 1, B to D is 3, so 3 plus 1 gives us 4. If you'd like uh, to see this code, go follow the link for the GitHub in the description. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe, please. Thank you.